My name is Tony Chang. I am a rock climber and I study white bark pine and its relationship with climate change. I was born in Taiwan. We moved to Los Angeles, California when I was three years old. After I finished my undergraduate degree, I sought opportunities to get away from Los Angeles. I needed space to grow. I needed to be away from all the competition and that really kind of opened up my passions for studying the natural systems of the world. You start getting you know, a connection to the, the subject that you're studying. White bark pine trees can only grow in these places that have low competitions. So I relate to this tree because the white bark pine has moved to the alpine to get away from the congestion of the other trees. And I find myself thriving in the subalpine environments as well to get away from the congestion of the big city. One of my favorite things to do is to go find new rock in these subalpine areas where white bark pine lives. The place where they like to live is the place I love to play. It's kind of a cool coincidence. In the greater Yellowstone ecosystem alone, we've seen a 75 to 80% mortality of all the trees within this area. You visit a lot of these areas and see just stands of endless dead trees. And that makes a difference for our wilderness experience and for the ecosystem in terms of species that utilize these trees as habitats and resources for food. You know, we all want to walk and hike in a lush green forest and, you know, who knows in the future that may not exist anymore. If we fail to act, will, will everyone be just having to play in a dead forest? It's worth trying to, to protect the things that we have now. You know, you get caught up every day in your daily lives and you got billions of things to worry about. They seem more tangible than something big like climate change. But as a climate scientist, you get to tell the story about kind of the bigger picture. It's up to us to decide if we care about intact systems or not. And systems that have been the way they've been for eons, and now they're changing it at this exponential rate. And so maybe we ought to take action to do something about that.